This is probably going to be my shortest review ever, because I have barely any notes for it. That doesn't mean it's terrible, but it means it's kinda unremarkable. Not a whole lot happens in this thing, and it didn't really make me think that much either. There's just not that much going on beneath the surface, which is sorta surprising considering some of the issues it deals with. So it's about a guy in his 20s who's a bit of a ladies man. He likes to go out, have a few drinks and bring home a girl. That's basically his thing. Until one day of course he meets this one girl and she's not like all the other girls. And they fall for each other but turns out there's some challenges ahead. Things aren't gonna be easy, so will their relationship persevere or will it crumble? Well I guess you gotta watch it to find out, huh? But that's essentially the movie. Boy meets girl, boy and girl faces hard times, relationship struggles ensue, will they, won't they, oh no, how will it all end? Structurally, it's more or less your basic rom-com. But it's less sappy and a bit more, I don't know, realistic, I guess, down to earth than most mainstream rom-coms. It doesn't just deal with some trivial issues and struggles and doesn't come up with some whimsical and silly twists and turns. It feels like everything in this movie could potentially happen. And the characters seem fairly realistic and down to earth too. It also doesn't wrap up with some fairy tale ending. Speaking of which, I did like the ending. It was good. So all around it's a lot less flashy and crazy and a lot more grounded than most rom-coms. But for some reason there's still not that much depth to it. Which, as I said, is a bit surprising. However, I did like the characters. At times they could be a bit frustrating. Especially the main guy, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that was intentional. And I liked the pacing too, it just kept the momentum going, never slowed down. Sometimes it felt like it was almost rushing, but it really wasn't. It just skipped over all the boring stuff and got to the important parts instead. And if I really look at it on paper, it should have been better. I don't really have any complaints, other than that the cinematography wasn't amazing. It looked kinda bland and washed out, which might have actually made the movie feel more bland than it actually was. But other than that, I thought everything was pretty well done. As I said, I liked the characters and the acting's great, no issues there. And the story felt pretty grounded and I really liked the ending. It found a way to bring everything full circle and do the rom-com thing, without being too sappy. But I guess I didn't take that much away from it. It was perfectly enjoyable, but that's about it. And really the only way I could say more about this thing is if I went into the plot in more detail. Which I'm not gonna do, so I'm just gonna wrap it up here. But would I recommend it? Well, if you're sick of all those mainstream rom-coms, this isn't a bad alternative. Otherwise, probably skip it. However, I'm not telling you what to do, because I'm not your dad.